Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. <laughs> uh, it's been an interesting few, interesting few days. Uh, I listened to a podcast the other night from Terry Chapandama, the I Feel Boxing Pod. I thought they were really good. Uh, I wouldn't say Terry's as hard hitting as me, but or should I say he, he words it a bit different? But I thought it were very good, very entertaining, and uh, quite relaxing. I actually fell asleep listening to it. No, <sighs> tired. Uh, what am I gonna say now? Uh, the code of silence that Terry were on about, well I'm going to call this video Silence is Golden uh, for the simple reason that nobody's coming out and saying anything about this beast and Palladi. I know it's dragging on a bit now but I've just seen something on social media where I don't know if this is true so oh it's there I don't know where it was then, I thought you moved it Rocky uh, I've seen something on social media, somebody's saying that the B sample's gone missing. It's lost in transit or something, so I don't know if that's true, but I very much doubt that. They'd be hell on, wouldn't they, if that happened. But uh, there is a there is a silence around it. I mean, I noticed the Michelle Phelps, Michelle Joy Phelps, good old Michelle Phelps, Every time I see her, she's interviewing Tyson Fury, Billy Joe, uh, Frank Warren, Eddie Earn, Joshua. She doesn't seem to bother with anybody who doesn't do any views. It's uh, I can understand these people are running a business, but my argument is this. She asked Tyson Fury about drugs. Now, Tyson, I'll talk to you about anything. He says he's Mr. Transparent. Soon as she asked Tyson Fury about drugs, well, we know what Tyson Fury said, don't we? And I don't agree with all that. I don't agree with it so for the simple reason that fighters should be transparent. I mean, they can't turn it on and off with social media when they want. They've got to play the game. Now, if you're playing the game, that means answering some questions. When you get asked questions, answer them i mean you keep these, these boxers they want to give they want to they want to use people to get pr status and then when they're asked certain questions well we know what happens don't we uh they go missing don't they you know for example here's tyson fury's reply i'm curious to know your thoughts on as of recently it, it feels as though we are getting more and more failed drug tests in the the division um what do you make of it all i mean surely well, it's have no interest at all no interest or no comment to make on it it's a lot of bullshit anyway mm -hmm. uh, and i'm not going to jump on bandwagons as that point and fingers at people because i've no interest mm -hmm. drugs do not help people win mm -hmm doesn't matter. In my opinion, I smash the fuck out of them anyway. Whether they're juicing, coking, whatever they want to drug they want to take, whatever they drug. Right, so that's, that's Tyson Fury's reply to Michelle Joy Phelps. Now, I'm going to have to pull both of them on that. Michelle Joy Phelps, straight away, instead of being a fanboy or a fangirl, she should have said, Tyson, Things like this need to need to be answered. You can't answer any everything else and come out with your usual stuff that you come out with, which is utter crap most of the time. And then just swerve this. You can't play both sides at fence. You've got to be transparent. Now she's not pushed it then, she bottled it. Now and as regards Tyson, Tyson saying he's not bothered about people taking drugs. 
he smashes them up. Oh, has he ever smashed up that's any good? Oh, Derek Chisora, Euro level. Euro level Derek Chisora, but who has he ever smashed up? Who? Because I don't, I, I don't, I don't see anybody that he's knocked out at all. So, but uh, it is what it is, isn't it? But like I've said, and, and like Terry said, there's a code of silence, or I'm going to call it silence is golden. You know, I mean, how can Dillian White be cleared to fight when? A few days earlier, they're saying, Dillian, you've, you've failed this test, adverse findings. Well, it's all adverse findings. Even if you set the machine on fire when you paint a cup and you fail for four things like Miller, Gerald Miller, it's still, ad it's still called adverse, find adverse findings. It's always only a minute bit in your blood, but it's in there. It's got in there somehow, hasn't it? And it's up to the fighters for it not to get in there. <laughs> If they're cheating, they want banning, and if they're unprofessional and they make a mistake, in my opinion, they want banning, because you're putting lives at risk. It's no different if you're in a job, and we health and safety and things like that. It's criminal offences. You 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 you're hitting people in head with your fists. If anybody's been hit by a box and it hurts, trust me. So imagine an heavyweight boxer hitting you. And from what I've heard, the Tackham thing, phew, that's going all the way. There's some compo going to be handed out for that. So, was Thomas Hauser and Boxing Scene right to break the story? Yes, they were right. And what I want to know, if Dillian White's innocent, why hasn't Thomas Hauser and Boxing Scene been served papers to be sued? Why aren't these people being sued? Why not? Why aren't, they, why, why aren't people being sued if Gillian White's innocent? If he's innocent, come out and scream it from rooftops. I'm innocent, I'm innocent. You know when you're guilty, whenever I've been to court and I, or been locked up and questioned, I thought, God, I'm in trouble here. So you revert back to arms folded and no comment. No comment, no comment, no comment, no comment when it's on top but if you're innocent you want to talk don't you you want to scream you want to scream you're not nut off but if you're guilty you want to scheme it's no if you're guilty you want to scheme and go no comment you know if you're innocent you want to scream all right always remember that scheme not scream if you're guilty but i personally think there's something to it and i want to see something done about it was it morally wrong what Eddie Hearn did? I think it were. I want to know why all these YouTube channels, Behind the Gloves, Boxing, Social, IFL, they've all seemed to have disappeared, haven't they? I don't see any of them pulling Eddie Hearn about anything. Dillian White, none of them. You know, Dillian White's so called brother's doing a lot of interviews, whether he's his brother or not. He's doing a lot of interviews and he's, he's not really saying anything. Why are these people not saying anything? They've all got plenty to say for themselves. Whenever there's a camera nearby, all of a sudden you mention drugs and silence, isn't it? It's like I pointed out the other day to you all. Out of my top ten favourite heavyweights at the moment in world boxing, my top ten... I'm not saying they're all my favourites, but the top ten best, my pick for the top ten, six have been done for drug charges, and only Jarrell Miller's admitted it. The other five are still in denial, even the ones that have been caught <laughs> and convicted and done the bans. They're still in denial. I think Jarrell Miller and Mia St. John are the only ones that have ever admitted it, aren't they? The rest of them are just act dumb, don't they? Uh, I don't know how it got in there. I've been spiked, or it was my brother, or, you know, uh, some dodgy Mexican meat, or water's dodgy. Do you know what I mean? It, it, it's just one thing to another, isn't it? And I, I tend to agree with what Terry said about 
heavyweight fighters that don't get caught juicing we tend to be shocked don't we now joshua's not been caught but dillian white's been accusing him for years of juicing but he's never failed a test joshua never failed one test dillian white's been accusing him years but if anybody says anything about Dillian White, people come to his defence, don't they? It's not nice, is it? And Dillian White's already done a two-year two ban. What I want to know is, who's failed and we don't know about it? Who? Come on, Eddie, and they're the questions that you need to be answering. Who's failed, Eddie, and that you're not telling us about? For example... Matchroom have been involved in free drug, not scandals, free incidents in 33 year. Kenny Anderson, he failed for amphetamine, leading up to his fight with Robin Reed, or, or after, the, after, sorry. Kenny Anderson, Jarrell Miller and Dillian White. Miller's admitted it, Kenny denied it, never fought again, and... Dillian White's denying it, obviously. So, where 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 are we going here with this? Where where's it going? When's it going to end? When is it going to end? I don't know, and I don't care. So, all right. But like I've just said to you, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. It's a fantastic sport. Shout out to South Yorkshire Packaging and Climate Cool. Thank you for backing the channel.